The prodigal son, the scribes, Pharisees, and doctors of the law were the elder brother of the prodigal son parable. Publicans and sinners, careless of spiritual privileges, were the prodigal estranged from their father's house. Jesus shows God's attitude toward the returning prodigal. For such he provides a feast, a blessing which all may share if they will. Those who received Jesus' message included not many great, wise, or noble, but chiefly penitent prodigals. The parable of Dives and Lazarus illustrated the same lesson. The Jewish nation was Dives, the rich man. His table, his spiritual food, the promises of God, was abundantly supplied. His raiment, fine linen, represented justification effected through the typical Atonement Day sacrifices. His purple robe represented symbolically the fact that he was identified with God's kingdom, purple being a symbol of royalty. Lazarus represented the hopelessness of the sinners and Gentiles who hungered for a share in the promises to Abraham, but who got only crumbs until Israel's rejection. The poor man saw represented a sin-sick condition. The dogs which licked them represented the sympathy of Gentile dogs. This was illustrated in the Syrophoenician woman whose daughter Jesus healed. She was not a Jewess, and therefore Jesus at first refused to aid her, saying, It is not proper to take the children's bread and give it to dogs. But she pleaded, Yes, Lord, Yet the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the children's table. Jesus gave her the crumbs. The rich man, the Jewish nation, died to his great blessing. Nationally, he fell asleep in Hades and awaked reawakening. But personally, the Jews passed into a great time of trouble, symbolically represented as fire for 18 centuries. Lazarus also died to his condition of disfavor and found himself in Abraham's bosom, a child of Abraham. Thus the Gentiles have become Abraham's seed and heirs of the spiritual part of the Abrahamic promise.